Hey friends, welcome to 4 Minute Answers. I want to tell you about a new series of videos we're launching called Making Notion Work For You. Now, when I found Notion a few years ago, having stumbled across it on YouTube while looking to ramp up my productivity game, I fully embraced it. In just a matter of days, I was tracking everything from meal planning and shopping lists to habits. I used it for journaling and to store important files. I used it to track my big life goals that I then broke into big strategies that each had their own shorter term goals and each of them had tasks to track. I used to track all the other to-dos from all the other areas of my life. I used it to record meeting notes and to keep my travel reservations, to capture ideas, and to write and organize notes on books I read. In short, everything I could think of that I wanted to track, I tracked it in Notion. The idea of a second brain where I could place everything and everything had a place was important. And it is important. And Notion works. It allowed me to be super productive, but it was quite exhausting because I let the tool become the boss instead of being the boss of the tool. Now it's easy to jump in with both feet because Notion is infinitely wide and infinitely deep and is customizable like no other project management application out there. And at the price of free to $50 per year, it is an unbeatable value. So you devote a weekend or a week to plan out Notion and then you build all the databases and organize them so that they talk with each other and create views that are customized just for you and it is incredible. And for many people, after a few weeks, you find yourself avoiding using Notion. Maybe it's just easier to jot down on paper what you need to do from the last Zoom meeting. Get them done and then cross them off the list. And guess what? It is often easier. Maybe going to the store to pick up a few things is just that. And it's not meal planning that triggers a shopping list. And maybe calling a friend doesn't always need to be on a scheduled to-do list. So here's, here's the revelation that I've had. Having jumped into Notion with both feet, then stepping back a bit from Notion in some areas, and then having been back into Notion again, I need to use Notion where it makes sense for me and to not use it where it doesn't. First, like many people, I have a regular job, plus side hustles like this channel or our Airbnb business, plus personal things that I'm trying to accomplish in my life. And Notion is absolutely perfect for some of it. And it's just a pain for some of it. In some ways, I've been able to take some of the pain points of the past and make it work much, much better by combining Notion with widgets in my phone. And we'll explore that in one of the videos coming up. Our goal here at 4 Minute Answers is that we all become Notion pros. I love Notion, but think about any area of life. A tool is only useful when it makes it easier for you to accomplish what you need to do. And in some areas of my life, Notion is just too powerful. It's like taking a Maserati to Costco. It just isn't practical. So in this new series of videos, we're going to tell you in what areas of my life I've stopped using Notion, in what areas of life did I change the way I interact with Notion to make it a big win for me, and then in what areas of my life I love to use Notion. And you may be very, very different. You've got different needs and different expectations. You're wired different and that's all good. So it's okay to have different conclusions. That's the power of Notion. You can easily make Notion your own. Customize it exactly as you wish and make it work for you when and where it makes sense. And just to give you the first spoiler, I stopped using Notion for all of my work to do's and goals. And here is why. In my regular job, we use Monday as our project management application. It's fine, it's not Notion, and it's way more expensive than Notion, but it has a few nifty features. But the most important part of it is that it is what everybody else at work also uses. So if I wanted to use Notion for my work, and this is what I used to do, I would need to double enter every goal and every to-do in both Notion and in Monday. And then as I accomplish certain tasks or reach certain goals, I would need to reflect it both in Notion and in Monday. And for me, that just didn't make sense. Yes, I can see the benefit of having a single place where all my tasks can be gathered and sorted and viewed in different ways. And that can work if you are the final decision maker for all areas of your life. But that just isn't me, nor is it most people. I didn't choose Monday, but I can't ignore Monday for work. So needing to add and delete in two places just so that I have it in Notion as well, it just wasn't smart. And that means means I let Monday be my work platform for work to do's, task lists, goals, and projects. Don't worry, I use Notion for nearly everything away from my job, but even with my side hustles or my personal goals, in some areas I 
heavily rely on Notion. In some areas, I've created shortcuts into Notion, and in other areas, well, some other areas, pen and paper work just fine. So that's what this coming series is about. If you want to find out how to use Notion, where I stopped using Notion, how I've improved the ways I interact with Notion, all to put me in the position of having Notion work for me and not the other way around, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. I want Notion to work perfectly for you just as you need it. In the meantime, tell me what you think of Notion and how you use it or don't use it. Drop a note below. We'd love to hear from you. See you soon.